Hey everybody, welcome back. Live at Drew's house. Another edition, Joppa Afternoon Drive. Starting off another week with a music show from our Newburyport studios. We like this. Today's guests, Jordan Quinn and Clint LaPointe. Clint's a point. Welcome to Newburyport, you guys. How are you? Sounding awesome. great. How are you? Good. Thanks for coming in today. We appreciate oh, yeah. it. Good so you guys make the trek from Manchester, Manchester, New Hampshire. <laughs> Both of you, very cool. Uh, good music scene up there. Yeah. 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 Really busy there. It's awesome. Uh, are you familiar with Newburyport at all, or? 
Not, not too much? Not too much. So no. this is an introduction to a little bit of a new audience for you. Oh, Very yeah. good. Well, thank you guys for coming down. You sound great. Thanks. Are you guys, uh, is it the new part of the band, Jordan? Are you guys tend to be songwriting partners? or what All of the above. All of the above. <laughs> <laughs> See a lot of each other, huh? Yeah. Uh, so what's new, Jordan? We met. I met you at the uh, the Seabrook Idol thing up there yeah. in uh, New Hampshire. You had a great uh, few nights there. So uh, fun. That was fun, wasn't yeah. it? Uh, do you like doing those things or? I do, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely like out of my comfort zone, so yeah, it was a good challenge for me. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It must be weird. It's all about like song selection because it's not like you get a whole set to impress yourself. Exactly. It's like you quick get hit, one one <laughs> shot, and it's like, yeah. <laughs> and you get silly judges judging you and stuff. <laughs> I loved it. I was they a judge. Were so nice. <laughs> <laughs> we did okay, um, but cool. So what what else do people need to know about you? So you're from Manchester. You play you're playing a lot. It seems like I follow you yeah, on uh, Facebook like friends five, now. Five, six, seven nights a week now. Is that right? Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'm about to hit my. Uh, First year doing it full time in May, so that's a big stuff, decision. Stuff. Oh yeah. When did you decide to um, rip the cord from any other work and go? I'm going full time. I don't know. It just kind of happened. We're just here. I'm just going for the <laughs> ride. <laughs> Why go. not? Right? Well, it obviously, if you, you said can. it was a year ago, it was a pandemic move. So yeah. that play a role at all? Just kind of a. Uh, oh yeah. yeah. Well, you were more affected by the pandemic than yeah, I was. Definitely. Oh, in yeah. what way, Jordan? What are we talking about? Well, I was, Spin that mic towards you. So. Sure. I was playing a, a few years before she was uh, in the area in Manchester, about uh, six or seven years before she started. And her dad goes to the dairy field all the time. That's kind of how we met oh, okay. <laughs> through uh, her, her dad. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. And you were like, I want to I play with her? Yeah, her, her dad was like, you got to get down oh. here and listen to this guy. Because <laughs> she, she, he, uh, she wanted me to... He wanted me to accompany her, you know, because oh, okay. he really wanted her to get out there and start singing, and she was looking for musicians to yeah. compatible to play with. So, gotcha. so we like just out. met like under a year ago. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it doesn't go that far back. Interesting. No, no. I, no. I would have guessed differently. That was the first time we've had a dog appearance in the studio. So you guys, that was yes. great composure right there. I loved it. Yeah. I was happy. I do too. I think we need to keep the dog. That's Marley. You should. Sarah's dog. I think we need to keep the dog in the studio more. This I'm is good. For it. I know. It brings. I think it uplifts everybody. <laughs> You didn't notice? No wonder why you kept your mouth. He was like in my lap. No wonder why you kept your composure so well. I didn't even notice. That was That's fant funny. Fantastic focus. That's a good guy to have on stage right there. We'll never break focus. No, <laughs> no matter what's going on there, in the ever. crowd. Yeah. Good stuff, um, good stuff. How have the uh, how have the crowds been post pandemic? Be well, no, I mean we're still in the pandemic, but you know what yeah. I mean. Since we've kind of come out of the quarantine, they're great. Flip that mic towards you again. Sorry, we gotta keep. Yeah, of course. They're great. Yeah. I love them. Because like so many people have told me that they're better even coming out because people aren't taking it for granted. Yes, that's right. I think yeah. I would I would think that is the case. That makes mm -hmm. sense. I don't take it for granted even going to shows now. Yeah. You know? I think yeah. I appreciated it before, but now I really do. Yeah. What's the uh, What's the favorite place to play? Is it a place in your hometown or? Probably Dairyfield. Yeah. I like yeah. Dairyfield. I like Bailey's. That's yeah. in Townsend, Mass. Um, okay. Yeah, I like playing at Bailey's a lot. Stumble's kind of fun sometimes. Stumble it's Inn rowdy. is really fun. The yeah. Stumble Inn, it's called? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Like yeah. a hotel? Yeah. It, it sounds not, like a hotel. Yeah. It's just a bar. Oh, yeah, it's just it's a bar. Yeah. Okay. Stumbling In. <laughs> Stumbling In. That's, that's the name. Okay. Yeah. What's the, uh, so we, we, you had the competition, you made a great run at that. Did that mm -hmm. kind of, um, did that open up new gigs for you? Because I feel like every oh time people God, do those yeah. things, it's like, yeah. Yeah, I met um, uh, someone who's now my agent. Oh, there. Yeah. You made the agent plunge too. Yeah, 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 wow. yeah. He hooked me up with um, a gig uh, for the Spring Festival on May fifteenth. Cool. Yeah. What's the yeah. Uh, what, what shows you got coming up? You got some big ones. Yeah, I'm opening for uh, Joan Osborne wow. um, May fifteenth um, in Newburyport. Actually, oh, it's okay. at the area where they do the Yankee Homecoming. Oh, okay. Yeah, that same spot. Awesome. So, so you're coming. There you go. Yeah, so this is a be fun. good time to have you on then. Yeah. Exactly. Excellent. Very good. Well, that's exciting. Yeah. What's the uh, do you have what, like, do you have like rules they give you like opening uh, performance rules do not go over 35 minutes yeah well it's 40 minutes 40 okay yeah it's 40 it's a long set <laughs> it is. yep 40 minutes but it'll be a lot of fun no I'm other excited. rules you're all no good. i i mean i i doubt they're really like strict on that too you yeah. know like if we go over a few minutes it's gonna be <laughs> <fine>. <laughs> they're watching right now they're like do not go over um clint what do you like most about playing with uh, jordan yeah, they're good job, Jordan. I like the challenge, and I like that uh, <laughs> challenge uh, musically more. Than, oh, yeah. no. <laughs> She's just so difficult to work with. Yeah. <laughs> in one, in one word, something. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> no, sorry to interrupt. Keep going. No, no. Yeah, it's it's nice to be pushed, and it's nice to um, hang out with other musicians that are of like mind and like taste that you respect. Um, so that when you uh, we encourage each other a lot, and we kind of go, oh, ah, you know, at each other's stuff. That's really nice, and mm-hmm. we respect each other enough that it means a lot. Versus some people, time people come up and say, oh, that's really nice, but. For, you know, it's not a musician, so you're like, oh, it's nice, but whatever. But for yeah. somebody that you respect to come up and say, hey, that's no, it's kind of a nice, keeps yeah. you in check, you know, it's, yeah. it's good. I like that. It's really fun because every time we do a song, it's never the same. Yeah. yeah. Like we all, like for some reason, like our minds just click, like we know where we're going with the song and we never do it the same. Yeah, oh, that's ever. cool. And it's really fun. As long as we know it. It, <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. It's yes. just really fun to make new discoveries. Structure, and then you move outside of it. Right? Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> What's the? Uh, do you do the songwriting, Jordan? Are these your songs? Yes. Did, yeah, okay. yeah. So and then it. he helps influence them. Yeah. Yeah. Is that I just, arranged? I come up with the bones, and then I'm like, help. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you scream for help, yeah. What's yeah. the? Uh, that, that must be really cool having like other music. I've always thought that's the best thing about being in a band or something is like yeah. when you have your songs and then yeah. they kind of come to life with other people, bigger yeah. groups. It's I just started songwriting. I I fly back and forth to LA. That's where uh, the boyfriend lives. So. Oh, um, that's difficult. It is, but it's a lot of fun when okay. I go there yeah. and I get a lot of work done. I like I literally just started songwriting like two months ago, so okay. that was. Dream World is my first song that I've ever written. Oh wow! Yeah, it's so. a good one. Very Thanks. good. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, and so I do a lot of writing. You know, the What's California that? trips are fueling your song. Yeah, exactly. Really. Yeah. Is that really where you do most of your writing on the yep. planes? Wow. Yep, the planes. It's kind of a cool story. When he's in, when he's in class, I'm just on the bed, just um, creating demos and. Wow. Yeah, and then we'll, when I come home, we'll go to the studio and actually use real nice equipment and nice. Just put them together <laughs> and you got airports and then you're on the west coast probably yeah. it's probably unleashes a whole new thing of oh ideas gosh, for you yeah yeah very good yeah it definitely like traveling back and forth makes me i write a lot of songs about just like appreciating the beauty of the world and yeah, very yeah, nice. it's really cool cool yeah well, that is good and uh so how did those conversations go with like uh clint you guys had come in and like I heard you guys actually talking about changing a lyric like just before the show. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like a literally work in progress, huh? Yeah. 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 What was that about? Sometimes it's fun. So, so sometimes it's frustrating because, you know, we want to change the ideas so quick that it gets overwhelming because you go, oh, well, let's do the thing we did four, four ideas ago. Yeah. Let's go back to that thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's go back to the original. Yeah, yeah. It yeah so never much. mind. Original thing. Yeah. yeah, it was better before Sorry. we messed with it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, we're yeah. always doing that. That wasn't from Dreamworld, right? You guys were talking about no. another song. It was I a different have a song. song. Yeah. I have a song called Blind, um, and there's a there's a lyric in there that's. I'm not really ready to say yet. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, so. I'm so curious now. Yeah. So someday we'll learn. Keep them guessing. One day. <laughs> yeah. Very good. We'll be watching for that one. Everybody's like, "Tell us the lyric." <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> um, what is the? So you're playing five, seven nights a week. Do you ever have to be careful of your voice? Because I remember you go for some big notes out there. Yeah. Um, not really. I guess I should take better <laughs> care of my voice. But you're reckless right now. Yeah. I've just yeah. like. I've gotten in a really good groove of just being really relaxed and airy and I never feel strained ever. Um, I'm yeah. really lucky for that. Yeah. You know? um, I have some voice cracks sometimes. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, most of the, <laughs> a lot of the gigs that we end up doing uh, are similar and there are a lot of restaurant gigs on Tuesday nights to Wednesday nights and they're a little quieter where she's not going to be yeah. pushing her voice like at a, at a vocal competition where she's going to want to be pushing her yeah, yeah, or playing yeah. at the dairy field on a Saturday and she's like, you yeah, know, that's really when like highway it. to hell comes out. Yeah. You know, yeah, but yeah. Yeah. she's singing Nora Jones on a Tuesday night, you know, yeah. so it's, it's, you're not pushing it so hard. Yeah. So that makes it, that makes it better. Yeah. Five to seven nights. So you're also lucky to have that, those kind of routine dates, which yeah, is, uh, I'm so lucky. Yeah, it's hmm. a lot of fun. Excellent. All right, well, what are you guys gonna play next for us? I want to make sure we get all your music out there. So, yeah. which we're, one you want? What's to? You want to do which oh, one? still working it on the fly. Very good. Let's do which one. Sarah, Sarah. It's all improv, always. I like that. <laughs> we live in jazz. I have another first for the show. I have busted the purple pen that I what have here. What is that? I don't know. What is all oh, over it's his chalk. hands? <laughs> it's chalk. It's Look, chalk. I literally I have chalk all over me. Why do you have chalk? <laughs> Sorry, see this little look that Sarah gave me. This is what she has to deal with. Producer Sarah Blackstone today. Um, I don't know. I was writing with it. This is what I was taking my notes. Oh, thank you. You should just like have a pen. I know. I really should. I thought this was a pen. I don't. <laughs> thank you, Sarah. I now have a pen. I, this is this is more my bigger concern. I just need to get this away from me. See, I don't know if you parents. I don't know. Is this a kids thing? Versa chalk. Does it smell? Does it smell like grape? 
I don't think so. Does it? Yeah, you can check. Those are always my favorite things. They had like <laughs> pencils that like smelt like cotton candy. Uh, yeah. I was just trying to match your nails. So, uh, are your nails purple? I yes, they are. I yes. just got them done. Right. <laughs> Me too, as it turns out. <laughs> Tips <laughs> and nails. That's hilarious. It's I don't think expensive. that's going to come off easily. <laughs> we're gonna, we might have to live with that for the rest of the show. All right, what are we playing next? Sorry about that. Sorry to digress. We're going to do a song called Would You. Would You. Yes. All right. I'll let you guys take it away. Would you, Jordan Quinn, Clint LaPointe, on Job Afternoon Drive. Take it away, guys. I made mistakes, said things I hate. This I know. This I know, this I know I'd take it back If it was worth getting what we had But I can't say the same about you Would you take it back All the times you were attacked When your presence was lacked Would you would you take it back All the times you attacked When your presence was lacked Would you Would you I wish I kept my mouth shut sometimes Said things your ears weren't ready to hear And I take it all back Can't say the same about you Would you take it back All the times you attacked When your presence was lacked Would you Would you take it back all the times you attacked When your presence was lacked Were you? Were you? Nicely done, Thank Jordan you. Quinn, Clint it's LaPointe. It's so hard singing in such like a Oh, the, the small room? Yeah, I feel like I have to like... <laughs> <laughs> it's a good sounding room though, it's, yeah, it's what it we is. usually get in here. We've had live albums done in here. That's amazing. People liked it so much afterwards that they released small albums. No. That's a true story. Would I lie to you, Jordan Quinn? I don't know. <laughs> I would not. <laughs> um, Jordan, Jordan Quinn and Clint LaPointe joining us here in our Newburyport studios, uh, getting the week off with the good music show. Sarah Blackstone reporting, uh, producing and uh, reporting for duty with my purple fingers that I now have because of the chalk, um, which is going to last, and uh, taking care of the show in general, doing a great job, as she always does. I Thank you, Sarah. I want to know how long that stays on you. <clears throat> you think it could be a while? Maybe. It could be. I don't, I'm not familiar with the substance here. <laughs> it could be bad. It's very purple. 
<laughs> just out of the shop. I used to be kids, and it was something from earlier. Honestly, I didn't say. I was just no, like, His hands are purple. No, this was just this. Is what I wrote my, my notes down with today. I don't really take many notes. I just have your names down. But I chose the chalk purple pen to do it with, or whatever the heck it is. Um, you, see, you can't take me anywhere. That's the problem. Um, I'm laughing too. The dogs out there jumping. The dog likes the music, jumping around. Wants to get in here. It's hilarious. We're keeping the dog for now on. All right. So this is the story I always ask. I need the one. What's the worst crowd we've played for? You guys playing so much. You must have had the bad night. Or like the. It doesn't have to be like the place, but give me like the, like the the pet peeve from the artist. What's like the just annoyed. Everybody has them, right? Yeah. I don't know. Clint's like I got a million. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I haven't been doing it as long as you have, but what? I guess, like, we were talking about, like, how, like, um, people haven't been taking live music for granted yep. now after, yep. and, um, I don't know, sometimes I feel like they do, like, sometimes there's... Just grab that microphone there, Jordan. Yeah, just grab oh. the mic and just oh. get it closer, yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> um, Powerful. Sometimes it's, sometimes it does feel like it's being taken for granted a little bit um, when they like don't applaud. Yeah, that's the worst, right? Yeah, it's like weird. I poured my heart into they that come one. come out for live music. I, I, th I think the issue is that in New England and New Hampshire especially, we're spoiled with yeah. a lot of live music and a lot of restaurants and there are a lot of good musicians. Yeah. It's kind of similar to Nashville in that so it's people are just take it for granted like you said. Yeah. You know? That is true. There's so much talent out there. Yeah. You know what I like about the musicians? They tend to look out for each other too, which I like. Mm -hmm. Like I never get any, like I never feel that like competition vibe of like, especially oh, like no. in here, we get artists that like cross paths a lot. You can't compete. Yeah. I mean, everyone's art form is different. Yeah. You can't. Yeah, you're There's not doing no the same thing. Then. You can't. Yeah. Somebody else is doing it. And like if you're if another place opens up and starts bringing in artists, that's good for everybody, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's exactly. what we want out there. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. good. So I have that right. That's oh, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, how about uh, influences? Oh, 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 you know who mine is. Yeah, of course. Oh, we're gonna play. Tri we're is. gonna play trivia oh, again. Yeah, okay. Probably. Yeah, you sort of do. I I kind of like this. You guess each other's. This is good. Queen, all the way. Queen for you. Queen and Michael Jackson. Lady Gaga too. Yeah, Lady Gaga. Oh yeah. yeah. Freddie Mercury. Is that, is that what you would have guessed for Jordan? Or do you have your yes. own Clint? Oh, okay. Absolutely, yeah. Do you what are Clint? You don't know Clint's? I don't think so. Well, the band that that you don't like that I like. Oh God. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're we gonna say it. Go for it. You say it because no, you say it. <laughs> Pink Floyd. Pink Floyd. Oh, uh, Pink Floyd. I do. Under, I'm a. Pink, I like Pink Floyd, but I understand it's an acquired thing. Yes, yeah. yes. It's a whole. It's a deep dive. It's a I different tried. thing. I tried. My boyfriend yeah. loves them. Can't do it. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. So I can. You know, I can hang out with her boyfriend. We can talk Led Zeppelin and Pink yeah. Floyd. And... I like Led Zeppelin. Okay. Yeah. You're Is right. that ever playing? Like as you arrive in California, like it's an hour of Pink Floyd. That would be kind of annoying. Yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah, he kind of plays like. Yeah. <laughs> he plays some weird things, but I'm like, can we just like listen He's to Queen? Like, what are you like listening? He likes good to? stuff. <laughs> it's like the, really obscure. Well, the the wall will grow on you. <laughs> Around you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're not going down this road, Clint. <laughs> we'll hijack the interview. Can try to convince Jordan to. How many people have tried to like convince you to like uh, Pink Floyd? Oh my god! Now, now so three, many. us two, like, and your boyfriend. All throughout high yeah. school, like all my like friends, because I was a big theater kid. Did you like, see that face? That was a. It's so annoying face. Yeah, it is. <laughs> like they're always like, "Oh, listen to this one," and I'm like, "No, I don't want to." Yeah. <laughs> all right. Not so none of, none of these songs are Pink Floyd inspired. We have that done. No. Um, coolest moment here, like the recently coming back live shows post pandemic. Like, was there one moment where you're on stage and you were like, I'm doing my own thing. I'm like, what did it yeah. just hit you? And it was like, this is what I want to be doing. Yeah. I did a show recently, um, at blue ocean music hall. Oh, what a cool spot. Yes. I'm just there recently. It actually. was so fun. Um, there's this queen tribute band called mm -hmm. queen flash. They're very good. They're from Canada. Ooh. And, um, they were playing at blue ocean and my agent, asked them if I could sing a song with them. And so um, there was like, I think like 500 to 700 people there. Oh, wow. And he like called me out to sing Somebody to Love for the second verse. And like the crowd was just so awesome. And oh my gosh, I just remember like looking mm -hmm. out and I was like, yeah, this that is, is it. very like, cool. That's what I want. <laughs> Did you get to hang out backstage at all? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Is it because it's like that? That's the one with like the coolest like yeah. uh, room with the yeah. ocean, right? Yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh, the waves mm. come up and they like hit the window. It's like, what the heck is going on here? Yeah. Like, are we going under? Like, <laughs> <laughs> the last time I was there, I saw one of my uh, favorite artists, Martin Sexton, was playing there, and he uh, he came out and like the first thing he said was. 
Uh, he had never played that venue. And he goes, this is like the coolest. And he's it's been really around. Pretty. He goes, this yeah. is like the coolest uh, dressing room or mm-hmm. whatever you call it. Uh, yeah. that I've ever that it's okay. we've had plenty of swears on the show don't worry um, I literally told him I was like you can't let me swear today like, <laughs> we usually catch them it's okay uh, but the uh, he was at the cool it's the coolest pre-room I've ever had it's like and he couldn't yeah. get over it and like he's seen yeah. some things so he's played some cool they places made us some really good food too really they had like bread with like raisins in them so good. Wow, rave reviews. It was really good. Good job, Blue Ocean. I love food. All right, make <laughs> note of the blue raisin. Very good. Do you cook? Yeah. <laughs> I tried. You like hesitated. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to didn't want to commit to that. <laughs> uh. One time I made soup, chicken soup, mm-hmm. and I put I, I didn't understand how rice like rice like really like blows up. Sure. I put at least 2 cups of rice in in my soup. It absorbed all the broth. Oh. Like, it was, yeah. What is that? That just turns into rice. It it was just like mucky. <laughs> just, I dumped the whole yeah. thing. I once did a... Uh, so bad. Here, this will make you feel better. I once screwed up the uh, crock pot. And uh, like one of those okay. six hour ones. And it, I forget what we were making, but it was, you know, some sort of uh, like jambalaya thing. And I don't really do this too often, but I, so I was using the measurement cups and I screwed up the measurement to where it was supposed to be like a pinch and I ended up being like a a thing and i think it was a thing I, yeah I let, just way too much of something and i remember i knew it was wrong because like the house started smelling horrible and i was like that that can't be right my, uh, my wife came home from work and she goes what was crock it? potting um I can, I'll, I'll text her i'll pay it off in the next show no it wasn't that bad it was just i want to say what did i do wrong it's like a seasoning thing it was just too much like yeah. garlic i think it was garlic garlicky that's what it was. Oh, I think it was gut. Yeah. It was, but it was, no, there was nobody. I mean, the best garlic lovers in the world would hate this. So she's like, I think you may have done something wrong. I was like, I agree. And, <laughs> I agree. And then, that I, would be correct. And then we decided we both, and then we decided we have to try it still. So we, like, it's six hours. There's a lot of materials in there. So we tried it, and it, it was, had to be the worst thing you've ever done. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah. We didn't even give it to the dogs. Oh, my yeah. gosh. It was bad. So, That's bad. So I don't do too much crock potting or anything anymore. Yeah. Crockpots are usually easy. They should be yeah, easy. They should be. <laughs> air fryers are the new thing. I've heard everybody keeps talking about the air fryer. Love what it. are you air frying? Marshmallows. Marshmallows. Mixed what? S'mores. Really? Yeah. Huh. That's a new one to me. Marshmallows get really big. Mm-hmm. Is that a good thing? You want the? Can you make yes. giant? Yes. Okay. I used to put marshmallows in the microwave before yeah. the air fryer, <laughs> and it would like blow up. Okay. Yeah, I'm familiar <laughs> and with that. It, like move. melts and then it turns into fluff. And yeah, then yeah. Just yeah. Eat it. We used to do that like in Maine when usually we do the campfire, but if it was like raining or something, maybe we'd just do it in the microwave and we always had fun with that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's interesting though, the air fryer for marshmallows. Is that a common thing? I think so. I saw yeah. it on TikTok. Oh, then it must be common. If it's on TikTok. So you're on TikTok? I asked you about social media. I am on TikTok. You're kind of on TikTok? I'm anonymously on TikTok. Oh, okay. Yes. You're a watcher. Yeah, I have yeah. about... Um, I have about 86,000 followers on TikTok, but it's anonymous, oh. so they don't know it's actually me. That so is fascinating. can't give the handle away. It's You'll have to find it. Mysterious <laughs> ways. Okay. I like that. That's the one I'm not on, TikTok. Why? It's like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I, I, mean, I know I'm going to be forced to do it for like work. You know, you do reporting work and yeah. this stuff. You end up having to be forced into it, but I'm trying to like hold out on it because I just have too much already. I have too much. It, I'm already addicted to this thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I am. Yeah. TikTok. My worst moment of the week is when that screen report thing comes on. <laughs> you know what I mean? What are your numbers? Let's compare. Oh, I don't even know how to look at them. I don't even <laughs> want to look at them. We're not looking at them. I have to know. Well, well let them tell me. Yeah. No. <laughs> Where do it's you terrible. find that? I don't know. I just it, ju- it just oh, pops wow. up. It, it, I think it only is supposed to annoy you for like thirty seconds. Mm. So that's that's. Oh, what. found it. Oh, Oof. good. Daily average five hours and twenty four minutes. <laughs> Now you're depressed. See? That's a lot. That's too much. <laughs> you're depressed. <laughs> I'm already depressed. <laughs> See? No, nah, you don't want to know that information. I'm telling you. Don't ever look again. <laughs> Delete that part of the phone. How do you do that? Um, Apple. <laughs> yeah. Jordan Quinn, Clint LaPointe joining us, Sarah Blackstone producing the show here today. Uh, this has been a fun one. You've enjoyed yourself? We fly by here. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Isn't wow, it? it is. It's already a little I know. Funny. You guys want to know uh, anything else? Uh, any websites or Facebook you want to see your people too to find your stuff Jordan Quinn on Facebook Clint LaPointe on Facebook mm-hmm. yeah it's all it go Facebook friend you guys oh yeah schedule's good up there you up to date on the schedules you good with that stuff yeah yep. alright so that's how you want to find Jordan and Clint oh yeah go to the Facebook excellent uh, you guys want to play us out with one any final right. thoughts any questions for me that's my new question at the end of the show any questions for me 
I don't think I have one yet. How many years have you been uh, doing this? What is this? Um, this exact gig. This exact gig? <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. That actually is the only question that's been asked. How many? Uh, four, I think. Oh, nice. Yeah. Steady. I have a yeah. question. Okay. What was your favorite part of Seabrook Idol? Favorite part? Easy. Mm -hmm. Meeting all the people. Yeah, right? Yeah. Because yeah. I have like genuine friends that I came out of that, including you. Here you are. Back on the show, but yeah, like it was great to meet uh, even like the organizers, Francois and uh, yeah, and Jay who helped. You know, Jay was already a friend of the show, but um, yeah. but yeah, it was just cool meeting all those new people. Yeah. I feel like you always, and then like those people introduce you to new people that were outside that circle. Mm -hmm. You know, that's how the business works. Oh yeah, good. Two questions. You want you got any more, Clint? You can keep going. Do you have any kids? No, I don't. Okay. Not yet. <laughs> no. Right. In it. the in the in the future, maybe near, but not not at the moment. No. I am feeling, what are you, my aunt? <laughs> Just concerned with the marker like the on your boyfriend heads. at Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah. So what's going on yeah. here? Not, what do you do? It's not enough, <laughs> not, enough, kids? not enough alcohol around to answer the kids' question right now, Clint. <laughs> oh, it was because of the purple fingers? I, I see yeah, what yeah. you mean. All right, fair enough. No kids for me. Kids for you? No. No? Not yet as well. There you go. Not against it. <laughs> you're not you stand by that you're not against kids yes good it's a good stance to be on today we'll we'll end with that one uh we'll let you guys play us out as well again jordan quinn and clint lapointe you guys have been great this has been fun we'll have you on again sometime as long as you thoroughly enjoyed yourself maybe you're like we, you're, we don't commit to anything yes please <laughs> we'll see we'll see very good i like that answer <laughs> All right, Jordan Quinn, Clinton the Point, and uh, I'll say goodbye with my. You know what? I'll just show you the purple fingers. Look how bad it was. It was not good. It was a disaster. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, clean up at some point. Uh, afternoon drive. Live at Drew's has another edition. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Jordan Quinn and Clinton the Point taking us home.